Now let's summarize what we've talked about over the past set of videos. First, we saw that there is a string literal known as a doc string that we give at the start of the body of a function. We don't assign it to anything. It's just a string literal and it is there to provide information about a function. So if we're looking at the code, we could look for that doc string and that should tell us something about the function. If we're using the interactive environment, we can use the help function on a particular function and it will return the doc string as part of the information it provides. We talked about when we create a function, the variables that are created within that function or are listed as formal parameters in the header, they have local scope. They can only be seen within that function itself. The code outside of that function cannot access those variables. However, if a variable is defined outside of a function, it can be seen within a function. So those variables that are defined outside of functions, they have global scope. But we also mentioned that it's a bad idea, it's considered a dangerous practice to try to use these global variables to pass information into or out of a function. So what we should do is pass information into a function via the parameters, via the arguments, and the information we want to get back out of a function, we should obtain that via a return statement. We also talked about the fact that we can define one function within another, but generally we won't do that. We would like all of our function definitions to have global scope, so we can use these functions wherever we want. We mentioned that programs are often written entirely in terms of functions. We take a large task, break it down into subtasks, and try to assign these subtasks to individual functions. And so our program consists of functions calling each other. The execution by convention is started with a call to the function main. So main is the function where our program starts. And again, this is just by convention. The name main comes to us from other programming languages, but it's not something that Python forces on us. And finally, we mentioned that to create a function with optional arguments, we can simply assign default values to the formal parameters in the function header. So then if an actual parameter value isn't given, the parameter will take on that default assigned value. 